I'm back. I'm back in Towson, Maryland. At the courthouse. The Towson courthouse. Alright. Baltimore County. Alright. Baltimore County Courthouse. Separation of Baltimore City and Baltimore County effective July 4th, 1851. Towson was chosen as a county seat by a popular vote on February 13th, 1854. All right. The courthouse is a local limestone and marble and was completed in 1855. The cost was $30,000. That's Baltimore county courts that's the courts right there all right hometown hero that's m t bank i got the 2021 weaver award winner from m t bank in 2011 y'all called me a terrorist i'm an activist i've been an activist since 1986 n62528 i blew the whistle on the government concerning the war on drugs the money they make behind the war on drugs. You seen the the, the the movie The 13th Amendment? You read the book The New Face Old Jim Crow? If you go to Mark Steiner, he did two interviews with me. It was about the corruption in Maryland. I turned into corruption in Maryland in 2011 and again in 2022. And this is where it's at. If I can go to jail, so can Scott Schellenberger. You feel me? So can Marilyn Mosby. She can go to jail. You met me in Columbia University. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a member of Out for Justice. Voter registration. Ex-felons got a right to vote. But like I said, you can go to jail. They charged me with terrorism. You can't use your office to protect Scott Schellenberger. I'm going to do it like this. That's Governor Hogan. That's Mayor Stephanie Rawlins Blake. That's a phony bomb threat, 2011. I didn't commit a bomb threat. Scott Schellenberger did. That's Judge Carrion. All right. See the date? 2011, 2022. Whistleblower Eric Barron exposing Scott Schellenberger. You feel me? You got evidence and knowledge of corruption in the courts pertaining to the war on drugs. And you talk about the Innocence Project? No. You go directly to Stephanie Smith. Vanessa Attenberry, the Maryland Black Caucus, they got this. And go to the Creative Alliance, they got this. If y'all gave GOP Carter the right to blow the whistle on Mayor Pugh, well, I'm blowing the whistle on you. That's Jane Miller. She got this. That's FCC violations. That's Marilyn Mosby. That's Marilyn Mosby. You got mail and evidence and refuse to act on that evidence. That's a violation of your oath of office. Dear Mr. Moranis, all right? Whistleblower on Scott Schellenberger, 2021, I mean 2011 to 2022. You feel me? It's all right there. We don't want no misunderstandings. Joe Biden, Brandon Scott, Judge Carrion, Brooke Learman, Maryland Board of Elections. That's voter fraud and voter suppression. That's Eric Barron of the Department of Justice, 1-7-2022. That's Delegate Stephanie Smith. That's Delegate Stephanie Smith. You got evidence and knowledge, and you had it since the first of the year. That's State's Attorney Mosby. And y'all want to protect white supremacy, the new face of old Jim Crow? No. That's my whistleblower submission, and these are the people that got it. Meredith Curtis, Nicole Hansen, you feel me? Justice reform, Frank Conway, Diana Suggs, you feel me? Attorney Eric Barron. So they got to do what they got to do because, like I said, I'm a whistleblower. I put that toilet here about the corruption in Baltimore County Courthouse. And these are the workers in Baltimore County Courthouse. I put a toilet here for a reason. I didn't put a toilet there this time. I put the information so we don't have a problem. Can you hear me now? So Marilyn Mosby, turn this over before 2022 in November. Before November elections, y'all got to act on this information. The world is watching Baltimore, and I'm going to give them something to see. I support Westmore for governor. If you win governorship, I got first. I got the first complaint. City, county, state, and federal levels. 
executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I want my property, I want my freedom, and I want my life back. You can go to jail. Operation Greylord 2022. Operation Dominoes. It's all about you.